Libras, welcome. This is your solstice love read. Love, romance, and relationship read. It's only four cards. We're going to try to go deep. You know, I, I set these out ahead of time. I hadn't looked at the bottom of the deck, but here we have the strength card. Wow. What a beautiful strength card. It's a sensual. So, um... First thing I saw when I was laying a reading out was here you have the Page of Wands in this deck and facing the Two of Wands, holding the world. And I mean, they're looking each other eye in the eye. Now, in this little reading, this is where your mind and heart is at in and around love and relationships. And a Page of Wands, that's cool. You know, I think that's a good place to be in necessarily doesn't mean somebody younger in this reading but it would imply someone you know you're feeling your passion uh, maybe you're you're looking into the reading um, forget the advice here um, so you're you're prepared for love you're interested you may be taking action I mean hey, anything from a dating site to just sort of opening up a little more uh, sometimes with this kind of thing it's like a maybe sitting at a bar restaurant or whatever and normally you lock eyes with someone for just a millisecond. You look away and then suddenly something changes. You have a transit, you know, a nice uh, trine to the moon and Venus or something and you're progressed. And suddenly you find yourself like when you're attracted, maybe you hold their gaze just a few seconds longer. You don't even notice it's unconscious. And lo and behold, you know, maybe they come over and say something, you know, or, you know, it's as simple as that, and so it's not magic, you know, it's like, this almost like physiology, but this is you kind of being open, want to take action, but now this card represents what's crossing you, so it's like the two, you could say the two of wants reversed even in this energy, but looking right at yourself, clearly, Libras, this is some kind of conflict within yourself about taking action, and I got to tell you with the Libra archetype, you know, um, you, it could be you have difficulty taking action. And I got to say, typically, it's because you over, you underestimate your own needs or self, you know, negate yourself in some way, being the opposite of Venus. But, you know, a page of wands is kind of Aries energy here. It's asserting yourself in some kind of action. This could kind of be in a little way even. You know, it's, this is not necessarily a big thing. Um, and it's also being seen, being recognized, kind of standing up. And I think if you throw the strength card as this overall energy into here, I think there's some part of you that really kind of wants to step forward. Step forward, that's what it is. But this is in the crossing position. So it's like you're blocking yourself here for some reason. And um, let me just clarify that two of wands spirit because I really don't understand. Uh, damn, if you don't have the Libra card. Guys, it's beautiful too. This is you showing up in your reading, clarifying what is blocking you. What did I tell you? It's as if you're blocking yourself. It's literally saying you are blocking you. Wow. <sighs> Spirit. You, you've got to know how so, but I want these readings to be helpful. How so, guys? Nine of Swords. So there's some kind of mental pattern. Nine of Swords is like over and over and over and over and over and over. And so this would be a lifelong thing. This could be a relationship thing. This is a relationship reading. So you want to move forward, and it's almost like what I get with this, this is huge because it's 50-50. It's like 50% of you is like, go, and the other 50% of you is like, no, and you're just, you know, and getting the clarification, you're really fighting yourself here. Um, I would ask a question if I was doing a personal reading and trying to get some help here. Um, what is it about holding on to something that serves you somehow it well it probably does not serve you libra i believe like it doesn't serve you but your ego somehow needs to hold on there's something you're being eh, asked here really to let go of something from the past the nine of pentacles nine of swords here it's uh, torturous thoughts it'd be something pretty heavy 
you know, I get the feeling it could be the very nature of you, again, is to not want to deal also with conflict and difficulty. And this can make Libras very desirable in a relationship and any kind of uh, social function. You know, the Libras are going to be the ones that, that know how to take everybody's uh, into consideration, you know. Um, um, but, you know, maybe what this is, is uh, you just kind of, this whole energy of loving too much and then wanting to kind of avo avoid harsh realities, um, that kind of energy. Um, and I think it's something like this could be really let go of. It's a perfect time. As an astrologer, you know, I could go into it. Some of the other readings I do with the astro fusion ones you can look at. Um, so it's so much dependent on where things are. And, you know, this is a great time to sort of let go of this kind of pattern to, uh, you know, allow yourself to kind of, you might just have to allow yourself to feel it, to just really grieve, to really say like, yeah, it really sucks. It really was bad. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Maybe you need to forgive somebody else. But, uh, but really first it's sort of like really let, allowing yourself to go into it, which I think is you don't want to. And I get it. You know, I'm a Sag. I don't really want to either. But sometimes the only way out is through. I have that on good authority. <laughs> so this is the advice from Spirit. And I always say the most important uh, card in this little reading. Um, in the Four of Wands, you know, that's building of a long-term uh, solid relationship uh, or marriage. So um, it's also, look at the progression, my God, from the page to the two reverse. Now, this is your advice from spirit. You know, this is like um, if you want to move forward, Libra, and you want to have really relationships with anyone, and particularly with that special someone, it's like you have to deal with this. All of this energy here is what's blocking. It's literally what's blocking you. What's keeping you from a long-term committed relationship and a marriage that you probably want only you basically you're standing there literally like blocking yourself so it's like you yourself and i sit down and really have a heart-to-heart -heart talk um that's you know how you could do this too if like you really hate the shit is just take a value <laughs> well you know i go lie and then get with one of your friends and sit down, you know, somewhere, wherever you feel most comfortable. Maybe I could do it at a restaurant because then I don't lose it. Or maybe you want to lose it to so do it at home. And just say, look, man, give it to me straight. Like, give it to me. Because I need to, I know I'm kind of not really dealing with what happened to me. And what is your perception? And if you have a good and perceptive friend, they can usually cut right through this. And they'll know just what to say. And they probably have held back, you know, because... How many times you watch your friends in difficult situations and, you know, the natural response is hopefully not, well, you dumbass, I told you that they were a jerk. You know, it's kind of more there, there. So in order to kind of get through this, the only way out is through and get to this four uh, wands energy, which I don't think Spirit would put this here. This is really wonderful here. Um, it's like saying that there's, if, if there's any doubt, if you're trying to make a decision, it's like it's saying that like it's there kind of up to you it's up to you now with the high priestess here being the outcome um you could be dealing uh, with the pisces energy here um with someone that's extremely sensitive um i got that feeling and it's it's like this is also the part of yourself that you'll be channeling in order to deal with this um it's I think as a Sag, ninth house, the, one of the ways to deal with all of this pain that you don't want to deal with is through belief systems, you know. Uh, think about how does all of this fit into the big picture of your soul and growth and what you need and look back at your childhood and look forward to the future and what your dreams are and just kind of fit it all in, you know. It's not a, just random things popping off, it's your life, you know. And here you are at this block. We well, are at this block because you need to look at this, right? So that you can go forward into this energy. And the way you're going to do it, sort of the bridge you're going to cross, is going to be intuition. So it is going to be meaning getting out of your head. So whatever, however you do that, you know. And again, a shortcut. You talk to that good friend. 
but always it's about your intuition. You watch a tarot reading. It doesn't it resonate. You listen to a friend. Does it resonate? You know, maybe something they say does and maybe something doesn't. This is kind of the point here. It's like a, a being a, being able to assert yourself and get what you want and not necessarily just agree and go along and all of that. And that's something along those lines of what needs to be dealt with. Um, and then once it is, it's like you won't draw in the energy of someone having, uh, bringing that to you again. You'll know, draw in somebody that has this more equal energy. It's kind of a promise here with the four of wands. It's like it's right there for, for you to take, Libra. So thank you guys. I hope you like that. Do give me a like. That helps a lot. Love it if you comment. I try to respond. If you have a question, you know, let me know. Uh, about your astrology if it relates to this too I'll try to jump in there and say something meaningful and uh, do uh, subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell appreciate it